This week, the Labor Department reported the unemployment rate improved in 37 states. One more sign the economy may be improving overall. But no matter where the numbers go next, one thing is clear. This recession has redefined goals for millions of Americans. And that is the focus of tonight's Weekend Journal, as we revisit four American families living on one suburban street. This recession has really rattled us. Jen Singer and her neighbors have waited patiently for life to get back on track. I always assumed like every American generation, that we would do better than our parents did before us. And now I'm not so sure. In this affluent New Jersey community, the specter of downward mobility is unnerving. We're not out of the woods by a long shot, either in the economy or in our own personal lives. Jen's next door neighbors, Bob and Janet Schrote, bought this educational toy store last year when Bob was laid off after 28 years as a corporate executive. Business is slow but steady. The Schroats are hoping they can hang on to their big house with a small business. Is this sink or swim right now? We're at that point. Severance has run out. It's, it's, it's make or break right now for us. And, um, and if we, we can't make it, uh, we, we need to make some serious changes in our personal lives. We're getting them in. And okay. Janet's a partner at the store, but she also runs after their kids and she takes care of the house. Did you think you'd have to work this hard? No, I had no idea. Owning your own business. You're never caught up. There's always something more to do. Down the road, the Davins are still functioning on a single salary. Brian Davin, out of work since last summer, spent months on a very promising lead. I thought I was getting close uh, once again this spring. Fell through at the 11th hour. It's just disappointing. You thought you had the job. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's four kids root for him. Each one comes home from school and says, how'd it go today? Did they offer you a job? You know, and especially my youngest son, you know, he thinks, Dad, there's a job down at Burger King. I just, they, they have a sign up. You could get that. It is a huge family dynamic <laughs> that is going on. The ups and downs of him interviewing and then not getting. Um, so it is difficult. Grace Davin, an IBM employee, works from home. They recently sold a summer house on Cape Cod. 10 or 15 years ago, did you ever think you'd go through times these tough? No, no. Oh, look. What the kids like pitch in, making dinner thing. and doing chores. What I tell my kids is, you're gonna be going off to college. So you're gonna be better prepared in the long run that you know how to do these things. And they get that. They get that. They have to. They might to. not like it, but they get it. <laughs> But the mention of college for the Davins and their neighbors is suddenly a sobering thought. Have you redefined your expectations for the future? I think in a way we have. Um, when we sold that Cape house, that, that house was our college fund. And um, we're dipping into it now, and we have to. The amount of money just to get a diploma, and then there are no jobs, that's pretty frustrating. Anthony and Aisha Locasio are and both working, but with local over. taxes going up and no raises in sight, they're on, just guys? hanging on. Yeah. This go. downward recession is, is very upsetting, and it's definitely becoming more of a permanent thing. One thing's for certain, no one is spending money. Jen Singer's home renovation stopped at the deck in 2008 and forget that new car. I've got a minivan that has 130,000 miles on it, and it smells like eight years of sippy cups and shin guards. And I'm hoping that we can hang on to it till it has 200,000 miles or more. Recession weary, but still intact, these families take survival <laughs> lessons from the generation before. A great phrase my dad had was positive people give energy, negative people take energy. If I dwell on the negative part of it or I come home cranky, then I've got four kids that walk away with that same attitude and I can't have that. You know, we're, we're supposed to be role models for them. Brian just got a short-term contract with a big company, which should help for now. We'll be right back.